What's up, Fox and Fox here, and the glasses that you see on my face are the Razer Anzu glasses. Why am I reviewing them so long after they came out? Well, I'm sure that there are some people who are interested in the fact that these glasses are now $60 on Amazon on July 3rd, 2022. So who knows, when the video comes out, maybe they won't be, but apparently they go on sale like this quite often. So you're getting $200 glasses for the price of $60, which is not bad, and why I decided to pick them up after my other sunglasses decided to just die. Okay, die is not the right term, because I'm wearing like sound. They just broke, they were $15 glasses. They looked really good though. Um, so I'm kind of a cheapskate when it comes to glasses because I have a tendency to lose them. So this will be my first real pair of glasses that I've ever had. Um, and they don't look bad for what they are. Uh, they're a little thick for my taste, but obviously you kind of have to have that with the drivers in here to actually play sound. Um, as for how they feel on the head, they're a little heavier than normal glasses, but they aren't anything your head couldn't get used to. I've been wearing them for a few hours and I have a slight bit of discomfort on my left ear, but I think that will probably go away the more I wear these. These are also sunglasses as well. It is a uh, changeable lens sort of setup. There's a guide online in order to change them. Um, I have yet to change them. I will do that tomorrow uh, before I go out to the gym. But right now I'm just using them as blue light blockers, which is what I wear 99% of the time these days. And to be honest with you, OK, I understand that it's kind of debatable as to whether or not blue light blockers work. So if you don't believe it, feel free to skip this video. For me personally, I find that they work, whether it's pseudoscience or uh, placebo or whatever. They seem to work just as good as any other blue light blockers that I've ever had. And for me, they don't help me sleep per se, but they do help me prevent eye strain. Um, and again, it could just be placebo, but I don't know. I like blue light blockers because they do help eye strain a lot for me personally. And when you wear them, there's nothing in your line of sight that causes any issues. There are some annoying things to this, which I will talk about. First things first, if you're not paired to anything, let me just disconnect. I don't know if you can see it in the camera as I wear them. There it is. Yep. Yeah, you can. Uh, that blue light is in your vision, which I kind of understand, but it also is annoying. I'm not going to lie. I also haven't been able to get them to hook up to Windows yet. I tried it on my laptop. Um, I haven't tried it on my main PC yet, but my laptop said they connected, but they just did not play audio through them, which is a big disappointment, especially because I did download a fresh install of Razer Synapse as well. But with that said, pairing is as easy as pairing any non Apple device on an iPhone. And I'm sure it's also easy on the Samsung slash Android marketplace as well. I don't have an Android phone to test it on. You do have to download an app which has a whopping two stars on the app store. It's called Razer Audio. And I am slightly concerned because if they stop updating this app, then will that brick these glasses or what apparently is not great. I haven't had any issues. It's not in depth whatsoever. The equalizer has three options, default, clarity and treble boost. And I'm going to be honest with you, all of them sound pretty bad. <laughs> um, I uh, like high quality audio. I have the WXM 1000s. I can respect things like AirPods. I wear them all the time, especially at the gym and stuff. And that's enough for me. I have no issues whatsoever. These are OK for podcasts if you want to make them sound like a radio uh, for music, no matter what option you use on the equalizer, it's just not going to sound very good. So I have title so I can get the best of the best music for my headphones. Um, and there is a song that made me cry when I played it on uh, title at the 360 audio settings for the first time. Now these don't support 360 audio, so I'll just play it from that album and just tell you how it is. Um, it's Elvis, Live at Madison Square Garden 1972. Let me just play it. It sounds like he's behind like a glass panel. You know, it's it sounds very muffled, which is not a good thing for music. Let me try another song um, that's more modern. I know that this one's not bad. Animals by Nickelback live at Red Rocks. But it still sounds very muffled. 
it's a cool concept because it's not very loud to the outward listener. Like I'm playing it at a comfortable volume right now. OK, you can still hear them from there. But if you're in any sort of noise, um, you probably won't be able to hear them. It's almost like to me, it resembles if you're I'm at like arms distance away. It sounds like you're standing next to somebody who has loud headphones. So they don't have a lot of noise isolation for people around you um, and no voice, uh, no isolation for you either. No matter what, you're going to be able to hear everything because these aren't on your ears, obviously. So they're going to have zero sound canceling whatsoever, which isn't a bad thing. That's where I can see these having some sort of practical use is like in the car. You want to be aware of everything and you want to have music, um, but you don't want to annoy your people on a road trip or something like that. Anytime you don't want to have headphones in, but you want to listen to music, these could come in handy or especially I think podcasts. If you don't want to wear again, like these are sunglasses. So there's a debate now of do I bring my um, headphones? I have AirPods Maxes. Do I bring those on my walk? Um, to like college class or something like that? Or do I slip these on, which I would wear anyway, and just play a podcast on my way there with reduced audio quality at $200? You should not buy these period. Um, the sound quality is so bad that at $200, you can afford an extra three seconds to put in some damn AirPods maxes. And you'll get an infinitely better volume experience for 60. The fact that there are sunglasses that go for two hundred dollars for 60 bucks, you get a cute little gimmick when it comes to the audio. You get blue light blocking glasses as well as sunglasses and the frames really don't look that bad. Um, again, a little bit bulky for my taste, but they don't look dorky or anything like that. Um, one thing that I think could have helped is because these are so thick is if they made these rims a little bit thicker as well um, could help sort of make it look a little bit more even. And I think of the round glasses might either look better or worse, um, which isn't a very good descriptor, but I think they could look better if they're round and thicker. But if they're round and the same size or even thinner, then they're just not going to look good. Um, so the Razor Anzu uh, glasses or razor on zoo smart glasses, whatever are a fun little gimmick. Um, don't expect great sound quality if you're using them for driving um, or. I'm trying to think of instances where headphones wouldn't work just as well. Like, seriously, it takes two seconds to put those in your ears for infinitely better sound quality. Um, the only thing I can think of is, again, if you're driving, but then you have a radio for that, you know, maybe if you don't have like a, a Apple a CarPlay or Bluetooth or anything like that, then you could use these instead, because then you pretty much have your own radio and not have to worry about listening to the radio and just have your own personalized playlist. Um, if you don't want to seem rude, I guess you can use these if you want to talk to people, but you also want to listen to music when you're not talking to people. I guess I could see that as a use, but otherwise they're just kind of sunglasses uh, with some bulky frames, which I'm still not completely sold on. And they're not bad if you want to listen to a podcast or something. That's my sort of take on it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like subscribe to what you're usually doing as always. Buy yourself something nice.